if at any stage this patient becomes unconscious, and when I mean unconscious, the patient you will see, they will sort of slump over. Um, if it's an infant, they'll become heavy in your arms. Um, and we are now dealing with an unresponsive patient. Um, at this point, have a look in the airway. We do kind of refrain from the teaching of trying to get your fingers into the airway. Please never do that. Don't ever try and stick a, a, um, a spoon or, or something into the airway to try and dislodge it. If it is visible in the mouth, however, you can try and remove it. Just be cautious that if the patient is unconscious, they can still bite. You might just lose a digit in the process. So uh, be cautious of that. If, however, you can, you are unable to see the object, the patient remains unconscious, but they are still breathing. You are then going to sort of place them in the recovery position, which uh, I know, Debbie, you alluded, you alluded to that earlier, turning them on their side and just ensure that um, they are still breathing. That potentially means we've now successfully dislodged this object. We have airflow again. Patient's able to breathe. Help is still on the way, however.